Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. Everyone that sees this new Daewoo Laganza asks the same question. Who or what is a Daewoo? Korean industrial giant Daewoo is one of the world's largest corporations, and it's also the company that built the short-lived Pontiac Le Mans Compact of the early 1990s. Well, after that experience, Daewoo decided that it was time to bring its own cars to America. And after years of development, they have arrived with a trio of small to mid-sized sedans. But Daewoo hopes to avoid many of the same obstacles that their Korean competitors, Hyundai and Kia, hit when they landed on our shores. So it's trying a different approach, a very different approach. Because Daewoo is bypassing traditional marketing approaches and using a new group of buyers to sell the cars to each other. Daewoo is recruiting college students to sell the cars on over 400 campuses nationwide and locating its first 14 dealerships in major college towns. The line that they will be selling starts with the entry-level Lanos subcompact. Available in both three- and four-door configurations, the Lanos would be an unremarkable little number were it not for its funky Morris minor-looking corporate grill. It's powered by a buzzy 1.6-liter dual overhead cam four-cylinder engine that makes 105 horsepower and 106 pound-feet of torque. Transmission choices for all Daewoo's are a standard five-speed manual or optional four-speed automatic with driver-selectable shift modes. With the automatic transmission, our test car ran a respectable 0 to 60 time of 11.4 seconds. We didn't care for the drivetrain's rough character, but the front McPherson strut and rear dual-link suspension concept used in all Daewoo's delivered surprisingly good subcompact handling. Braking was also good, with stops from 60 averaging 126 feet. Front disc and rear drums are standard with ABS optional. On public roads, the Lano certainly felt better than Hyundai's early efforts, but it won't impress older drivers raised on Honda and Toyota products. But young first-time buyers may like the interior styling, which is dominated by garish seat fabrics. In its defense, however, the Lano's interior is quite roomy. The dash is very utilitarian with nothing we haven't seen before. While rear seat room is a bit tight for adult legs, but offers more headroom than many bigger cars. The trunk is large, but needs a bigger opening for bulky loads. Lano's prices start at a low $8,749. The most expensive version carries a base price of $12,519. Next in line is the Compact Nubira, which is available as a four-door sedan, as well as a five-door wagon and hatchback. We tried out the sedan, which carries its smooth Toyota-like styling on a longer 101.2-inch wheelbase. The Nubera is powered by a 2-liter dual overhead cam four-cylinder engine, making 129 horsepower and 136 pound-feet of torque. Limited time with the Nubera prevented our usual track test, but in normal daily driving, we found that the drivetrain was reasonably strong, but again, it lacked refinement. But the suspension gave the car a tight, nimble feel, again, much like its smaller sibling. The Nubera gets stronger disc brakes all around with anti-lock as an option. Interior-wise, the Nubera is a nice improvement over the Lanos. The dash is more upscale with better control placement, but the seats, despite having a more tasteful appearance, are short and lacking in lower back support. However, the rear cabin provides more head and leg room than a Toyota Corolla. The 13.1 cubic foot trunk beats the Corolla as well. Nubera prices range from $12,250 to $13,050, about what you'd pay for a comparable Hyundai. But the big dollars, relatively speaking, are for the Laganza, Daewoo's flagship four-door sedan. It's very unusual for a new Asian company to enter the market with a bigger family size model, and the Laganza's upscale styling should give Daewoo's image an extra boost. Over 15 feet long and riding on a 105.1-inch wheelbase, the Laganza is about the same size as a Mazda 626. But unlike the V6 available Mazda, the only power plant is a 2.2-liter 16-valve four-cylinder that makes 131 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque. With the automatic transmission, that's good for a reasonable 0 to 60 time of 10.3 seconds. Suspension setup is similar to other Daewoo's, but in the larger Laganza, it felt overworked, pushing the front end and rolling hard in corners. Braking performance, however, was quite good, with the four-wheel disc and ABS delivering stable, average stops of 120 feet. 
Easily the classiest of the Daewoo line, the Laganza's well-equipped interior has more head and legroom than Mercedes-Benz C-Class, and a slick Euro-style dash with pictograph climate controls. Seating was the best of the line too, with thick padding and good back support. Ditto the rear cabin, which does the front one better by being larger than that of an E-Class Benz, while the trunk is a healthy 14.1 cubic feet. Laganza base prices start at $14,540 and top out at $18,660. While they do show a lot of potential, the Daewoo, Lanus, Nubira, and Laganza are not yet the equals of their established competitors, but they are being sold by a clever, innovative company that's not afraid to take chances. One that will either quickly sink from view or end up teaching us all a few new things about how to sell cars. I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week. <laughs>